Greetings, people. It's Paul over here at Greenshire Homestead. Um, gonna talk to you today a little bit. You know, th this is the most important part of gardening: is your harvest. Everything. If you if you don't get a harvest, then all the work is is for nothing. So, this is the most important part here. And um, what I've got here: this is lemon basil, and we use this to make um, tea in the in the winter time. We we dry this in the basement. I've I've shown you a video on on how to dry your herbs. And uh, so, um, what I do here with this basil, see it gets real tall. You see how tall this is? And then it, it forms, what this is here is a seed head. The, the basil will, it'll grow, it'll reach a certain point, and then it will decide that it's time to start to, uh, you know, propagate itself. So it will form these seed heads. And inside um, of these little, flowers that you can't really see the flower there but they're little bitty tiny flowers and underneath those flowers is going to be a uh, a little tiny black seed and that that of course you know this is an heirloom um, le uh, lemon basil and uh, I'm going to gather seed from it in order to uh, you know keep my my supplies going but I have cut this trim this uh, little shrub here back and this is this is what I've gathered um, this is what I'm going to be taking in to dry, and uh, I've, I've got some regular um, Italian basil that's in there drying that I gathered here a little bit ago, but now I'm going to um, take this lemon, the, the lemon basil in, and uh, we're going to dry that. So all that's come out of this shrub and a couple over there, but I wanted to show you how I prune this back because, see, it's gotten all tall and kind of leggy and it's a little out of control. So you take a good pair of sharp um, clippers and you look for a joint where um, you've got a split and then just above the split you just cut it off just like that now because I'm going to want to gather seed from this I'm going to want to leave some seed heads so that the seed can fully mature by fall uh, when when the, the frost comes the killing frost comes I want to have viable seed that will actually grow a plant so I'm going to let this branch right here grow, uh, at least a portion of it, this one stem right here because it's got a couple of heads on it. And I'm going to do that on a few of my plants. I'm going to let this, this head, seed head grow. I'm going to let a couple of seed heads grow over here. I've got a couple I let grow over there. But the rest of this, it looks a little drastic, but I'm going to cut all this off. And that, I've already collected enough for, to dry. I've got, you know, just a limited area of, of space where I can dry things, so I've got enough of that to dry. So this is all going to go in the compost. And, you know, this gives you a lot of nice biomass to put in your compost pile. I've been out here doing this uh, for about an hour this morning, and I've got about uh, probably 20 clumps of, of basil and lemon, lemon basil this size that I've thrown in my compost pile. So as you can see that gives you a lot of nice bio, uh, biomass for the compost. Now this is all going to grow back and it's all going to get bushier. That's why it's important that you cut it off where you've got a split and, and some leaves growing because where these leaves are coming out of this node right here there's going to be three or four um, branches that are going to come off of that and it's going to spread and that is going to give me more substantially more basil here in about five or six weeks I'm going to be able to come out and do this again and uh, by then um, I will probably have more space in my basement with which I can uh, dry more basil in other words what I've got hanging in there drying should be dry enough to to um, bottle up and uh, you know put in my peanut butter jars like I showed you and then I'll have a whole nother uh, harvest to uh, dry so we've got so many dry herbs stored in our basement I don't think I need to grow herbs for probably three or four years and I'll still have enough but you know I like to keep my supply of of everything uh, it's better to have too much than not enough so I can give this stuff to friends and family and that kind of thing but I just wanted to show you what the seed heads look like on a basil and and this works with all herbs okay you, you come in and you you trim them way back like that it's just you want to leave you want to trim above a node 
and you trim, you just trim all your, your um, herbs back like that, and it promotes new growth. And so you're going to get a larger harvest from your herb, and you're also going to get a larger um, amount of biomass to put in your compost, which is going to be very, very important for me next year. Same thing I do with the dill. You know, I've got all this dill everywhere. It just comes up, and I just pull it up and thin it throughout the growing season, and I just throw it all in my compost. And I can't tell you how much biomass I've gotten on my compost just because I've either come through and thinned things or I've pruned them. So um, this is Paul at Greenshire Homestead. I, I appreciate you watching. If, you, if you, this video helped you out at all, uh, please give me a click on the like button and subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time at Greenshire Homestead. Thanks for watching.